Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share with you my completed pages and some whips um, from May and June. It's kind of a sparse stack um, and that's just because uh, we had a lot of things going on with my daughter breaking her leg and yeah. <laughs> um, I went to go look at my stack and I'm like I didn't do anything. So that's why there wasn't one for May. And I was almost not even going to bother with June, but um, let's just go ahead and show you what I have, and then that way I can catch up and start over with July. So, from Enchanted Faces, now this is the pocket size book from Hannah Lynn. I think it's just this one. I started it, and this was in May for Mermay. I had started it just using my favorite um, Prismacolor hair color combo. And I can't remember why I stopped. Um, oh, you know what? I think <laughs> I think I was gonna do the skin with a marker base, and I was too lazy to walk upstairs <laughs> to my art studio to get my markers. So I, uh, well, I never finished that one. Bravo. Okay, uh, here's another one that wasn't finished, but there is actually a video on my channel for this. So I did this red hair here. Uh, this is with Black Widows. You can check out that video on my channel. It was a tutorial. I need to finish up her skin. And it looks like her dress and background. So I'm going to set that to the side so I remember. Because it's one of my Mario Labudek uh, portrait books I need to finish. Okay, here is another hair series one from Mario Labudek. Um, I This was done in June. The hair was done with the Koinor pencils. I did share the combo on my community tab here on my channel and my story on Instagram and it's also in my Discord group. We have a specific channel in Discord just for color combos, so it's in there. Um, there was a hashtag on Instagram, uh, Nerma Coloring does one each month for hair colors and for June it was orange. So I created this orange orangish, it's actually pretty orange, <laughs> um, color. And then I did the Skin with Pan Pastels, and there is actually a video tutorial on my channel. I just need, I still haven't sprayed it yet, so these Pan Pastels are coming up. So I need to spray it and then do the background. So I guess I'll put that in my pile of things to work on. Okay, this one, oh my gosh, was this in May or June? I think I started this in June. Uh, this is from Rain Rain Art. Um, she was on Etsy, however, because she is from Russia, her account is now blocked uh, until the war <laughs> is over. Um, she does have a Patreon account, though, and this was from... I want to say this is from one of the Patreon pages we got, actually. So I was going for, like, a ethereal fairy look. Um, so I did her hair and like, this purplish bluish pinkish tinge and those were with pro color the skin the skin is definitely not prismacolor I think I used oh I used Koinor's that's right okay so it was last month in June I used Koinor because K is for um, June <laughs> it was the hashtag for the alphabet coloring challenge so I used that on the skin and the dress and even this little um, bug here and all I had to finish was the bug right here in the background and I just I don't know I just kind of got stuck on this one I did like purple eyes just wanted her to look like a little fairy not really sure what happened there <laughs> uh, so this one there is a tutorial on my channel for this one as well this is brown hair uh, with black widows as well. Um, again, I need to do the skin tutorial. Or not skin tutorial, <laughs> I need to color the skin. Uh, this is from Mariella Budek, one of her hair inspirations. Don't ask me which one, I need to find, like I said, I got two months worth of pages here. I gotta find where these all go. <laughs> and some of these I'm like, did I do this? Huh, I don't remember doing that. But this one I know for a fact I have a tutorial on my channel. Okay, this was, I think, in May, um, because I did it for the hashtag for Nerma Coloring, but I don't think I actually ever posted it, because I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, 
The hashtag was pink and green hair, which I obviously did here. I want to say this was with my pro colors. It is. I can recognize that green, racing green. Um, I do. I do not like the pro colors alone for green. The way their greens are, I I should have added other brands, but I was trying to be just use my pro colors and see how it turned out. And I do not like it. Um, the skin was with pro colors as well. But yeah, that one was kind of. Eh. Uh, this was definitely from May because it was from Mermaid. This is Prismacolor, and this is from, oh, I can't remember which book it is from, maybe Ocean Dreams? Does that sound right? Um, either way, it's Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, I did the purple hair with my, everything's Prisma, and all that was left was I was going to do a watercolor background, and then I was going to use some metallics for her little trident, I think that's what that's called. And I just never got around to it. <laughs> I had a lot going on in May and June. So, like I said, I was almost like, should I even bother recording? Okay. This one, I couldn't remember if I had shared it or not. Um, so, this was done at the end of April, beginning of May. And it is from the seller or artist, I should say, on Etsy is Strawberry ID really cute pages. Um, I can't remember the name of this one specifically, but I used Kohinoor on the hair because I was testing it out, trying to do like this reddish, strawberry-ish thing going on. I don't know. Um, and then I think these are Prismas everywhere else. Not 100% sure. The skin I'm pretty sure is Prisma because that just tends to be my default. Um, but yeah, it needed a background and I just never finished it. And, uh, man, so many unfinished pages. I can't believe it. All right. So this is definitely from May because it was Mermay. This one I, I'm kind of bummed I didn't finish because it was coming along really cute. <laughs> this is from Mariola Budek's, uh, what is it, like cute mermaids or something? It's all those cutesy little mermaids that she has. And I'm trying to remember what I used. The hair, you know, I think the hair is the same Black Widows I used on this one. Um, I think I already had them out, and that was the dealio. <laughs> uh, the rest is definitely Prismacolor, because I recognize the purples. Um, and I normally do translucent or pearlescent stuff with uh, Prisma. <laughs> And her skin is definitely a Prisma skin. So yeah, she's super cute. And I, all I have to do is the background. What is with me? <laughs> um, okay, and so this this kind of explains it more. And let me see if I can zoom out a teensy. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. They're all squared. Uh, so for this one, I was just kind of in a rut for May and June. Um, I started diamond painting and doing more watercolor. So I was kind of doing a lot more of that. However, I did a crap load of mandalas. Um, especially with my daughter's broken leg, like she doesn't let me, you know, sit and kind of relax. So I often find myself working on like just mandalas that I can belt out and feel accomplished. <laughs> so let's just kind of go through uh, each one that's tagged. And there's actually another book downstairs, and I never even got that out. So this was the end of April, but after I had already done my April completed pages, I used Sharpie and then my Aeon glitter gel pens in that one. Um, this one also is a combo of Sharpie and Aeon glitter gel pens. I actually really like the palette for this. And if I remember right, I was using Sarah Renee Clark palettes and doing my best to match them up. And I was picking them at random. Like, literally, I would just take my finger on the PDF on my phone and scroll. And where it landed was my palette. <laughs> so, um, here's another one. Luckily, I landed on some pretty ones. This was also a mixture of Sharpie and Aeon glitter gel pen. Um, the sparkle probably won't show, but I like the way that one turned out, actually. Uh, here is another one. 
see, so yeah, a bunch of them are in May. Again, Sharpie, and then I mixed in some glitter gel pen for added sparkle. It's kind of helping me preserve my gel pens because I have been going through them so fast when I do mandalas. And I have all those Sharpies, and they fit perfectly. This paper doesn't bleed with the Sharpies, but it will bleed with, like, oh hoo hoo. All right, here's another one. Random palette. <laughs> I don't normally do these color schemes, but it actually looks all right. Um, yeah, I don't normally do a lot of orange and gray, but this one turned out all right. Again, I was just randomly scrolling, and this is just, uh, this is Sharpie. Yeah, right there's some Sharpie and some glitter gel pen as well. Um, this one. Another just random palette. Um, you know, I might have actually used my Ohuhu bullet nibs for this one. I remember using them on a few. And this looks more like an Ohuhu color. I like the the color combo on that though. All right, here is another one. This is definitely Sharpie and glitter gel pen. And it's a monochromatic one. There's the glitter. Monochromatic, all blues. I should have probably filled in the dots now that I think of it. It looks weird from now that I look standing back at it, but hmm. yeah, it looks like I have some tags up top. I was just like tearing random scraps of paper because that's how lazy I was. <laughs> uh, another random palette. So this was done with the Sharpie and glitter gel pen as well. It was actually done end of April, but after I had done April's completed pages. This one's not too shabby. More Sharpie than gel pen. Let's see that sparkle. I have to do glitter gel pen, otherwise a mandal is just not exciting to me. But yeah, another random palette. It's kind of what I've been doing with all my mandalas lately. So that I branch out and quit repeating the same colors. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one I think only has a tiny bit of gel pen. Oh no, it has more than I thought. Some of these parts are all sparkly too. Um, but yeah, this was like an orange and blue one. May 8th, I swear I did like five mandalas that day. I was just like on a mandala kick, but yeah, that's it for mandalas. Okay, and I do have a single completed page. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so accomplished. Um, so this was definitely from May. It was from Mermaid. I believe I shared it on Instagram and whatnot. The hair, ooh, I'm pretty sure I had like a Whip Wednesday or something, something where I was doing that hair. It's probably Black Widow, if I had to guess. Um, the rest is Prisma, I can tell, because again, translucent and pearlescent things, I always use Prisma, at least right now. And then I outlined this in a white gel pen, the Jellyfish. I was going to add some sparkle and Posca, but I didn't. However, on the tail, I did add some of that color shift paint. Um, and it kind of shows. And then I added some like white gel pen dots. The background is just gelatos. Oh, that's right. Maybe I did like a tutorial with gelatos. Gosh, I don't know. I just know or I feel like this was recorded somewhere. Um, I, I just don't remember where, but the background is gelato. I used a couple different ones, uh, I think like three colors to create the background. And yeah, that is all for my coloring pages. Now I did get one diamond painting done, so let me grab that and then we will be off. Okay, so here is, oh, I got a little bumpy right there, the diamond painting I finished. I'm actually almost done with the next one, so that'll be at the end of my July pages for sure. Uh, this was my first diamond art club one that I've ever done. Um, the one I also finished in June for my daughter, I have already framed and put on her wall, so <laughs> it's there to stay now. But this is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. I did do this on a live stream. And it's called 208 Faces of Fairy. It's a 20 by 20. And you know, for this being my first Diamond Art Club one, I wasn't actually impressed with the finish, only because her face is really weird. <laughs> um, I just feel like her hair and her face turned out 
really weird. And even some of the placements of the ABs, the Aurora Borealis um, diamonds were kind of awkward in this one, I have to say. Like, you know, she's got a little bit on the tip of her nose. Um, she's got like some random ABs right here, but like none in the hair over here. Um, some in the middle of the wings. She has some lining this wing and just a, like three in the hair. <laughs> I shouldn't say she, I should say they. She didn't design it. She just made the artwork. Same thing, like they have some ABs going here and then nothing there. So originally I was like, oh, this will be perfect to hang in my office or my art studio, but I'm actually not super thrilled with the, or I just don't want to waste my art wall space for this one. Uh, the one I'm working on right now will definitely, definitely go up on the wall because it's gorgeous. But this one I was just like, oh, well, but yeah, I mean, this is 20 by 20, so it's not a big one. The canvases are really nice. I did buy a studio uh, portfolio carrier um, and I've put like a piece of like, big cardboard in the back so that it stays upright and that's basically where I'm gonna put all of these for now and my plan is to kind of frame them and give them away as gifts I might even give away some of these completed ones on the channel I'll just roll it up very delicately now you have to roll diamonds out um, but I'll roll it up and ship it. I am gonna seal this one first though before I do anything. And so I'm looking for a sealant that's flexible so I could seal it and roll it and ship it to someone. So keep an eye out for that because some of these DPs I'm gonna give away on the channel and then you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this one I'm gonna test a sealer on because I wasn't super happy with the outcome. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm okay trying out the sealant on this one <laughs> so well that is it so the, i've got one dp that was completed i did it in a week um and then i've got one picture in, that i've actually completed and then just tons of tons of whips <laughs> and uh loads of completed mandalas but july i should be on track i do have my buddy color page from june i'm almost done with and then I will be doing, or I am hosting, the Yana Prosperina um, tag with Erica from Elm Colors because we both love her artwork. So keep an eye out for that video. I'm going to show some of the pages I picked to work on this month. No guarantee I'll actually get them all done, but hopeful. So until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.